Hey guys, it's me, Carrie, and I'm looking off to the side, aren't I? I can never get this stupid thing focused when I have it in landscape view. Sorry about that. But um, I wanted to give you the latest update on the pumpkin spice coffee situation. So I have now ordered a pumpkin spice ice latte from, Dun um, excuse me, from Starbucks. I got it with skim and without the whipped cream, and it was pretty gross. I honestly have come to the conclusion that I like the idea of a Starbucks pumpkin spice latte a lot better than the actual beverage. I just get excited every year when they come out because I feel like that's the unofficial kickoff to fall. So I get one and I'm always so excited and then I get it and I go, did they change the formula from last year? This doesn't taste the way I remember it. Plus they're damn expensive. I was shocked that a grande, which is their medium, was $5.65 plus tax. Outrageous. If I don't have Starbucks gift cards, I don't buy Starbucks, but even with them, it's like I just feel like, I don't know, I still feel like I'm getting ripped off. So I wasn't impressed with that at all. Then yesterday, yesterday or the day before, I got the um, pumpkin spice signature latte iced from Dunkin Donuts and that was really really good then I went the full Monty I got it with the whipped cream on it and I believe they sprinkle cinnamon on the whipped cream and that was really tasty and that for size medium which is the equivalent of a Starbucks grande was on sale for three bucks and it was well 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 worth the money especially in comparison to the Starbucks one it tasted way way better it had more sweetness to it I didn't remember to get skim milk in it, and I did get it with the whipped cream, but honestly, I don't think doing it with skim and no whip would have made that big of a difference. Just the flavor of the coffee itself was way better for me, so I really liked that a lot. But day three, the best beverage of all so far, is from Speedway. It is a local gas station. I got this 24 ounce, which is bigger. This I got hot, and then I poured it over ice and I got home because they only have their flavored coffees in hot. But um, if you join up for their speed, speedy rewards, every seventh drink you buy, you get free. And they right now are running a promotion where any size hot or iced coffee is only 99 cents. So technically this would have been 99 cents, but it was my seventh drink, so it was free. So what I did was I poured it over ice in my big tumbler that I decorated. I'll show you how I decorated it with a bunch of different cute Pura Vita stickers. I don't know what size this tumbler is, but I couldn't quite put the whole 24 ounce beverage in it with ice. So I'm guessing maybe this is 24 ounces and with the ice it just wouldn't quite fill. Um, but yeah, so that was free and it would have only been 99 cents, but they just call this pumpkin spiced coffee and it is really good. There's a little bit still left in the bottom that you can see because it couldn't, I couldn't quite put it all in my tumbler. Can you see? Oh, shoot, I'm spilling. I didn't think I would spill. It's really frothy. This is with no additional sweetener, so it's pre-sweetened. And yes, I'm grossly eating it off my laptop <laughs> because I'm classy. But it's already pre-sweetened. It's really frothy. It's really, really delicious. I like the hot version, too. I actually took some pumpkin spice creamers to add to it, but it doesn't need anything. It's perfect the way it is. So it is pre-sweetened. It is caloric. I don't know what the calorie count is, but it is amazing. I poured this over at least seven ice cubes, and it's still warm. This coffee is hot, hot, hot. Just an FYI, I don't know if every Speedway is like this, but even with this little cup huggy, I know this probably has a particular name, I call them cup huggies. Even with the cup huggy, when I was initially holding it, it was really hot. So just be warned, that may be a Speedway thing, that may just be a my local Speedway thing, but um, it's really hot. But it is so delicious. Kicks Duncan's ass and Starbucks is like lying bleeding in the street. This is the freaking best pumpkin coffee I have had so far. Any type of pumpkin spice beverage. I would get this in a hot minute, even though I don't have gift cards for there. I have gift cards for Starbucks and I have a gift card for Dunkin', but I would rather go to Speedway and pay 99 cents plus tax for that bad boy and either bring it home and pour it over ice or just drink it hot. But that is freaking delicious. So that is my latest, just a really quick update. Um, tomorrow, no, tomorrow's Thursday, Friday, I'm meeting my friend Debbie at Duncan, and I'm going to get the other, uh, pumpkin coffee that is on sale for $3. 
at least here in New York, through the 14th of September. And that is the Pumpkin Cold Foam. I think it's just called Pumpkin Cold Foam or Pumpkin Cold Brew. Cold Brew Pumpkin Foam. I don't remember. It's something to that effect. I don't generally like cold brewed coffee. I find it to be more bitter. But with the pumpkin foam, I've heard that the foam is flavored. I don't know if it's pumpkin flavored or if the coffee itself is pumpkin flavored and the foam is flavored with something else. But my friend Frankie said she really liked it and I trust her judgment. So I'm going to try that on Friday. So that would be my fourth. Yes, that would be four. <laughs> that would be my fourth pumpkin coffee beverage. So I can add that to the list. But right now, if I were to give ratings from one to ten, and this is just from my best recollection, um, the Starbucks... Um, taking into consideration, just keeping it really simple and only factoring in price and taste, the Starbucks I would give like a four because it's way too expensive and it really wasn't that good. The Dunkin', because it was on sale for $3, um, I don't know what the regular price is. I feel like it might be like four fifty nine dollars or something. Even that's a lot better than the Starbucks price. But because it was on sale for $3, I would give that, I think, a good solid 7 That was really quite good. And again, take into consideration the Starbucks I did get without the whip and with skim milk. The Dunkin' I got with whip and whole milk just because I'm an ass and I forgot to do it the way I specially do it. And But the, the, this Speedway, even if I hadn't gotten it for free, for $0.99 cents for this ginormous coffee that tastes so great, doesn't need any alteration whatsoever, at least in my book. 10 being perfect. I can't say it's perfect, but it's a solid 9. So it's going to be a tough act to follow. But I will let you guys know on Friday after I try the pumpkin cold foam, whatever the hell it's called from Duncan. <laughs> I'll add that to the list. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoy this and find it somewhat helpful. If you guys are fall and pumpkin hoes like I am, this might be helpful to you. So anyway, have a great rest of your day. and I'll be back soon with more stuff. Bye, guys.